The Jordan brand launched their latest flagship performance basketball sneakers, which are the Air Jordan 39. And with that, I went to my nearest Dick Sporting Goods and caught me my very own pair. So with all that being said, I'm going to give you guys my honest first impressions on the shoe, as well as some public opinion so you guys can get the best of both worlds. With all that being said, before we go ahead and get into these sneakers, let's go ahead and check out the box. The box comes in mostly white and you do have a D-Boss Jordan and Jumpman logo in the center. And you also do have the black printed thing that says Air Jordan Type 39. Interestingly enough, you do have a D-Boss Nike Air logo, which is located on the side of the box. And then of course you do have that size tag on the front of the shoe box. But with all that being said, let us go ahead and dive into these sneakers. This is the one and only Air Jordan 39, and apparently this is one of the most minimal and simple Air Jordan sneakers. Now, there is a really cool and new cushioning setup that I am really hyped to show you guys and let you guys know how it feels on the underfoot comfort, but there are nine colorways according to Jordan, and this is the only silhouette in the Air Jordan 39. I'm not gonna lie, I actually love these shoes now having them on person, especially because they are very premium on hand. Now, I will say the retail price of $200 for these sneakers right here is pretty high. There are a lot of design elements that I can't wait to get into in this video, but a quick disclaimer for you guys watching, this is not gonna be a performance review. This is gonna be purely my first impressions and also a sort of material review. And don't forget, we got interviews coming in later in the video. Before I go ahead and try these sneakers on, like I said earlier in the video, I am super hyped to try this new cushioning setup. This new cushioning setup, as you can see from the bottom, you have a semi-transition outsole on the shoe, and then on the bottom, you have a full-length Zoom Air technology, which is super solid. This bottom is loaded with Zoom Air and fully encased by that Zoom X, which means that everything under the midsole the outsole and also everything underneath your foot is fully with the Zoom Air and Zoom X technology. At this point in the video, I'm going to go ahead and try on these sneakers to see how they fit on the underfoot comfort and find out whether the Air Jordan 39 is the best, latest performance basketball sneaker. A few moments later. First impressions after having tried on these sneakers right here. Now, comfort-wise, this sneaker is actually pretty decent, and I would actually say that this is one of the most comfortable pairs, but for basketball, this is actually a pretty nice sneaker. Now, surprisingly, I did notice that this sneaker does have like a broken type of feel straight out the box, which actually was the original intent when designing these sneakers. As far as the feel on foot, these actually felt pretty good for me on foot. They felt pretty soft, and as far as the sizing, for me personally, they felt pretty much true to size. But if you do have a wider foot, you might want to consider going up half a size. But I feel like even then, you should be pretty fine. These are relatively breathable. And two things that I really have to give it to Nike because they really go hand in hand with basketball is the fact that they have really nice support on your foot. And they also have a really nice bounce, which I give it to that Nike Zoom Air technology. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this shoe came out, especially comfort wise. And even though this is not one of the most comfortable pairs I've ever tried, when it comes to basketball, at the end of the day, you do want that on-court feel. But the good news is, if you do want a pair of these Air Jordan 39s, these are not too difficult to find, as you can find these on the Nike website, Foot Lockers, or even a bunch of other retailers near you. Speaking of retail stores, I'm at my local Dick Sporting Goods, and today I'm here with Brett. And today we're going to do our first interview on the Air Jordan 39s. So Brett, let me know, what are your first impressions on the Air Jordan 39? They're pretty clean. I like the feeling of the sole. I'm not feel like really supported. They remind me of the Jason Tatum that recently came out. I really like those besides the certain the, the bottom portion, which this doesn't have. So I tried these on and I feel like these are like much better than the tank. Okay. Yeah, I think they're a gospel. For sure. Like how would you compare these shoes compared to other shoes you have when it's comfortability? Right when I put my foot in this one. Like, the probably like, it's a 9 out of 10. Damn! Like, for sure. Like, yeah, like a 9 out of 10. That's why I would rate it because the last one, like the Tatum's I mentioned, like, breaking them in and stuff, but uh -huh. my foot was like, aching for days. So, when I put my foot in this one, it was pretty nice. So, for sure. So, definitely an upgrade from the Tatum. Yeah, for sure. Last but not least, would you say, giving this shoe is a retail price of about $200, give or take, would you buy these shoes right here? Would I buy these? Uh -huh. 
I think I would. Okay, for sure. Now, today, I don't know about today, but, <laughs> but I would probably buy these if I was looking to get some basketball shoes, like uh-huh. on-court shoes. And these are, they do give you that nice on-court feel, so just to piggyback off that idea, you like the, the fact that they're good for basketball. Yeah. And without further ado, let's get into our next interview. Second interview of the day, you guys, and we're doing the Air Jordan 39, and I got my guy Bam. So what are your first reactions on these shoes right here? First of all, I like the look of it. I think it's sleek, and I think it's going to pop out while you're on the court and make you stand out. For sure, for sure. They do give you that good on-court feel. But second thing second, what do you feel like the comfortability scale on these shoes are compared to other shoes you tried on before? I think the comfortability, it's more like a sturdy feel. So I feel like you're going to get more realistic feel while you're on the court. Uh And the back cushion part by the uh, the Achilles and stuff, I think it's it's more durable for your ankles. For sure, for sure. Your comfortability test and your first reaction, would you cost this for a retail price of $215? Okay, our honest opinion, 215, I might cost, I might, but I don't know, I don't know. What do you mean by that? I think for the price range and the feel of it, I don't think it's worth 215. For sure. I feel like I can get more. I would just think it's cheaper. But I'll, I'll probably still cost. I'll probably still cost. Yes, sir! For sure then, you guys heard it. That's our second cop of this video. So without further ado, let's get into our next interview. On to my next interview, I'm here with Benji. And so Benji, what is your first reaction on these Air Jordan 39s? My first reaction, bro, I ain't gonna lie. They kind of smooth, bro. The look is very, very nice. Uh-huh. And I like the ankle support, man. For sure. Okay, okay. So given like your other shoes, the other shoes you had before, what would you rate these on a scale of 1 to 10 on its comfortability? 1 to 10, I'll rate them about an 8 and a half. Okay. So, last things last, more important question. Would you cop these shoes for a retail price of $215? $215? Yeah. Uh, I'll cop them. I'll cop. For sure. know, it's a cop. Because the look is nice. As you guys can see, the look is nice. And they're comfortable shoes. So, overall, $215, it's cool cop. That is going to cap off the interviews, you guys. We had three straight cops. So as you guys can see, we had a three for three, which means that this shoe right here is very comfortable. And one of the things that I heard that really stood out to me between the three people that I interviewed is the fact that they said that this shoe was really comfortable. So you guys see it. So now let's get back to the actual review. At this point, let's talk about some really cool design elements and details that found their way on the shoe that come from the Air Jordan 9 and the Air Jordan 29. So apparently Michael Jordan was really invested in these sneakers right here compared to how he really was back when he's on the court. So with that being said, for this sneaker, Jordan's request was the fact that he wanted a sneaker that was really broken into, very simple and minimal, and also a sneaker that wasn't too constricting on your foot. One of the main design elements of this shoe is actually embroidered on the upper of the shoe, and this is inspired by the wear fit samples, and you also have this organic cracked pattern which runs along the entire upper of the shoe. Interestingly enough, this shoe is actually specifically designed to handle one of Michael Jordan's moves especially, and this is Michael Jordan's cross step. I love the organic shapes and the overall colorway, as it is very subtle and does a very nice job, but I cannot lie, this is definitely a wild pattern with all the different textures and also with that little shine to it. Now, it does look good enough to be a lifestyle sneaker, but for me personally, I do not see myself wearing this casually. Material-wise, this shoe is pretty simple as you do have that ballistic mesh paired up with the embroidered detail along the upper. And then you also do have this sort of heat press back, which is supposed to improve the overall stability around the heel. Then on the toe of the sneaker, you do have a white leather panel, which is designed for containment and durability and also style, which is honestly a pretty good looking piece. You've also got a plastic heel counter, also known as a heel clip, which has the word Air Jordan molded on it. And then you also do have the heel clips around the midfoot area, which is ultimately increasing your stability. Inside the shoe, you have a crazy amount of padding around the heel, which is insanely soft and this adds and creates a better support for your foot. Then the midsole is pretty simple as it comes with the same organic pattern from the midfoot with that Air Jordan Type 39 stitch patch along the heel. But this is definitely a solid sneaker and although I wouldn't go as far as saying this is one of the most comfortable underfoot performance basketball sneakers I've ever tried, with the midsole and also the outsole, this shoe is just very comfortable. 
One key detail I had to add in this video is just the fact that they have a hidden pattern along the midfoot of the shoe, which ultimately represents the Air Jordan 39 in the 39 shape. Also, something that I did want to highlight is the fact that they do have that Air Jordan signature along the tail of the shoe. The final element of the shoe I wanted to mention is the Jumpman located on the Air Zoom unit. And although it may look backwards from a different perspective, when you're walking, this definitely looks like the right side up, which is a very nice touch. But that's pretty much all to know about the Air Jordan 39. It's a brand new minimalistic sneaker that features details from the Jordan 9 and 29. And it also has that nice new cushioning setup, which includes that Zoom Air and Zoom X technology. Overall, my first impressions on the Jordan 39 is the fact that this is a pretty solid sneaker that is visually appealing. And although it didn't initially blow my mind, this sneaker I definitely see having a lot of potential in the future. At this point, I would love to get your guys' thoughts on the Air Jordan 39. So you guys let me know down in the comments below if there is a certain colorway you'd like to get or if you're considering buying this in the near future. But if you'd like to discover the top 10 most comfortable everyday sneakers, go ahead and click this video.